We're turning now to Baltimore and the race to remove the wreckage from last week's collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge. Crews have opened a second temporary channel, and now we're getting an up-close look at the site. Workers are racing to open a third alternate channel in Baltimore's harbor, critical to allowing some larger vessels to bypass the mangled wreckage of the Francis Scott Key Bridge. We are going to get this done. We will clear the channel. Crews in cranes are working around the clock, painstakingly cutting and removing the wreckage piece by piece. We saw that effort up close aboard a U.S. Army Corps of Engineers survey vessel. When you get up close, you see the sheer scale and the violence of what happened when the ship hit the bridge. Some of the cargo containers just crumpled like cardboard and hanging off the side. Beneath the surface of the Patapsco River, murky waters and strong currents complicate the work, with new 3D sonar images showing just how dangerous it really is for dive teams. The jagged steel trusses tangled and snarled. What you're seeing behind me right, right, is what we are seeing above the water. The, the same complexity and challenges, even more so, are below the water uh, as well. Among the most urgent tasks, recovering the bodies of those four remaining construction workers lost when the bridge went down. Our thoughts and prayers certainly go out to the families of those victims. And our efforts are going into not only uh, getting this channel and the port back open, uh, but also finding those four victims. 